Well, hey, everybody. This is Kim Huffman from Westport Christian Church, and today is Tuesday, and you know what that means. Story time. Well, uh, I have an interesting story for you today. I hope you're all doing well, and uh, hey, it's, uh, I had a thing on my, my phone this morning that uh, there's a weather warning that the heat index today is going to be up around 100 so please be careful, uh, drink plenty of fluids, uh, stay inside if you can, uh, at least stay in the shade, stay cool and calm and collected, okay? Uh, for all you young at hearts out there, uh, don't forget, I hope you by now have uh, gotten the letter that we sent out uh, telling you about uh, what's going on here with the young at heart and uh, also uh, telling you about the drive-by hot dog day on July the 15th a week from tomorrow we're going to have you drive by 1130 is when it starts we're going to give you hot dogs and chips so come on by and enjoy the time and if it's not too hot you know you can sit in the parking lot and and eat it and see a few other people if you want to all right well I have five sponges here with me today. Uh, I hope you can see them okay. Uh, these five sponges are going to tell us our story today. Uh, the first sponge that I have, uh, we want to see where it's been. All these five sponges have been cleaning the house, and we don't know exactly what they've been cleaning but we do have a way of finding out where they have been so the first one here we're going to check out ah that one has been in the kitchen because yep that's sprite somebody spilled their sprite all over the counter and uh so we know that sponge has been in the kitchen. Our second sponge here, uh, let's see what it, where it's been. All right. Well, that's got a nice smell to it. Mm, yeah, I believe that sponge has been in the bathroom because it sure smells like t tub and tile cleaner to me. So evidently it was in the bathroom cleaning up the bathroom. All right. Uh, got another one here. It's a little bit different shape, so it's hard telling what it was doing. Let's uh, see where it's been. Yeah, that this one has been cleaning out the nursery because it smells like baby powder. So it evidently has been in the nursery, cleaning out the nursery. All right, that's three of the five. Here's number four. It looks the dirtiest of all of them here. wonder where it's been. Oh, yeah. Motor oil. <laughs> Motor oil. It must have been cleaning something out in the garage. Maybe wiping up a spill on the garage floor would be my guess. So anyway... I bet that one was in the garage. And our last sponge here, our blue one, let's see where it's been. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this one's been on the hardwood floor because that sure smells like floor wax to me. So uh, I'll bet that one's been cleaning the hardwood floor so uh, one of our sponges was from the kitchen one of them was uh, from the bathroom because it smelled like tub and tile cleaner one was from the nursery because it smelled like baby powder this one smelled like oil so it must have to must have come from the garage and this one here well it's it smelled an awful lot 
like floor wax, so it must have been working on the hardwood floors. So, uh, what can we learn from these sponges? Well, uh, they tell us a really good story. You know, a sponge soaks up whatever it's put, been put, whatever's been put into it. Uh, this sponge here that was in the kitchen, uh, it uh, soaked up Sprite because that's what was put into it. This sponge, it uh, soaked up the tub and tile cleaner because that's what put it, was put into it. And this one, baby powder, because that's what was put into it. This sponge soaked up motor oil because it had been wiping up motor oil. And this one here, floor wax. So sm sponges will soak up whatever you put into them, whatever they've been working on. And you know what? Uh, these sponges are an awful lot like you and me, like Christians. Uh, whatever we squeeze out tells people what's in us. And there's a passage of scripture I want to read. It's from Mark chapter 7, uh, verses 14 through 23. Then Jesus called the crowd to him to come hear what he was saying. All of you listen, he said, and try to understand. It's not what goes into your body that defiles you. You are defiled by what comes out from your heart. Then Jesus went into a house to get away from the crowd. And his disciples followed and asked him, what he meant by the parable that he had just told. Don't you understand either, Jesus asked. Can't you see that the food you put in your body cannot defile you? Food doesn't go into your heart, but only passes in through your stomach and then goes out in through the toilet to the sewer. By saying this, Jesus declared that every kind of food is acceptable in God's eyes. Except for bananas. I don't think he concluded bananas. And then he added this. It is what comes from inside that defiles you. From within, out of a person's heart, comes evil thoughts, sexual immorality, theft, murder, adultery, greed, wickedness, deceit, lustful desires, envy, slander, pride, and foolishness. All these vile things come from within. They are what defile you. So just like the sponges, when we squeeze them, we figure out where they've been and what's really inside them. So a Christian, when he's under pressure, when he's being squeezed by trouble and trials, or maybe even some coronavirus, we can understand what's really in his heart. So, check and see what's in your heart today. Make sure that you're putting God's word in your heart, and then when you get squeezed by circumstances around you, or the events that are happening in your life, Good things will come out because you have put good things in your heart. All right, that's my story for today, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> I hope you guys will have a great rest of the week. And uh, remember, God loves you, and so do I. We'll see you next week. Bye.